Happy birthday, Leo. This is your astral tarot reading for the month of July and your birthday season opens on the 22nd when the sun enters your sign. And you start this month off with a bang. There is going to be so many pleasant things coming your way. But before I get to the planets, let me get to the oracles. Okay, I got four decks of tarot cards and a clarity deck. And let's just see what the first message is for you this month, Leo. What is the first message for you this month? The first message is growth. There is going to be a lot of things growing in your life. Personal growth. Financial growth, mental growth. Wow, there's going to be three things growing in your life. Let's get a clarity card on what might be growing or flowing or coming your way or, you know, being more vital in your life. And money, okay, well, come on now. Who does not like that? Your money's going to grow. This is going to be a month where money grows and it can happen. Uh, it definitely can happen. You know, we got a lot of things happening with your houses of finance later this month. And there's going to be an opportunity for your money to grow, growth, financial growth, Leo, financial growth. I do know that on the second Neptune, the planet of, Neptune is the planet of creativity. It's also the planet of intuitiveness and compassion and creativeness. And what happens is that it's a little foggy and a little unclear and it really goes by, you know, uh, your intuitive messages. And what happens when it goes retrograde, there is clarity. You start seeing things for what they are. It's like a wake-up call. You get a wake-up call, and it's going to be a wake-up call regarding your money. What's going on with your money? How's your money growing? How are you managing your bills, your credit? How, what's going on with IRS? What's going on with your debt? Time to get real about your money. Get a grip on your bills. Be more practical in handling your money, Leo. Handling your money. Let's get a clarity card. What is it that you need to know about your money that you may not be seeing so clear? Because Neptune is one of those foggy planets. It's foggy. Not you. There's no clarity. Okay. First of all, just know that your resources, it's lucky to have them. There's a lot of people that don't have anything. You have to, you know, give more respect to your resources. Take your resources and let it grow. Investments. Time to invest. IRAs, SEPs, you know, whatever types of, uh, you know, investment opportunities, stocks, bonds. Get, a, get an, uh, an uh, estate planner, someone that knows what they're doing. Let your money grow. It is time to let your money grow and not be waiting for something to happen, like a blessing to happen in the future, which is wonderful. But you got to do this. And you got to do that. You got to use both of them to make things happen and flow in your life. Oh, yes. I got my second deck of tarot cards. Now, let's see what the second message is for you, Leo. What is the second message for you? The second message is storm warning. Okay, something's about to happen. There's a warning coming. A storm warning. What could the storm warning be? What person or thing or incident or event may bring a storm in your life? So let's get a clarity on what storm might be coming your way, Leo. Because we all have storms in our lives. And, that's, and it is, you have been ignoring your intuition. Something your intuition has been warning you about, you have been totally ignoring. Is it about you being with a certain person? Like the person so much, spirit keeps saying not the person for you, you just keep on being with them, right? Is it that you took a certain job? I want this job to look good on my resume, but your boss is aggravating the hell out of you every day and you working with coworkers that would rather see you sink, that would that help to sink you than for you to swim. Is it the fact that you've been war you know, ignoring stuff about your health? Oh, that little pain will go away. I had that pain two years ago. It's still here. I, I, it ain't getting no worse. 
I'm going to ignore that. Let's just see what the storm warning is for you, Leo. What is the storm warning? What is the storm warning? You got, listen, another thing too, you have to have clarity of thought. Discipline. You can't keep doing the same things over and over again that you know are not good for you, like gambling. Going to the casino, buying all those lottery tickets, don't win a damn thing. Okay, you might get a three dollar <laughs> rough scratch. You might get a three dollar scratch off after you just spent a hundred dollars. Okay, come on, let's get real. Or you know, you know, you decide. Well, uh, I, I know I'm supposed to be on a diet, but I'm going to eat this anyway because I, you know, I'm going to go back on my diet next week. Whatever discipline. Storm warning is something you have been ignoring to do, but you have been warned about. You have been absolutely warned about. I do know that also on the second, Mercury, the planet of thought and communication, it's going to be in your sun sign. Listen, there's so many things happening for you this month, Leo. So you have Mercury in your sun sign. That happens on the second. You're going to be busy socializing, talking with people, interacting with people. You just absolutely love it. You know you like to be out there being seen because you know you be looking good all the time, Leo. You know, I get, listen, I got some good looking, they be, they be shiny. <laughs> my friends, my Leo friends, they outshine everybody. Go ahead and outshine everybody, Leo, because you know you like that. Also, you might be thinking about taking a trip somewhere. I know there's going to be lots of conversations and lots of exchanging information for you. Let's get some information, card, some clarity cards on what the Mercury going into your sun sign on the second might bring your way. Mercury is going to bring, oh, some happiness. You're going to get some happy conversations. Somebody's going to say something to you or inform you about something that's going to make you happy. Yay. I say yay. Yay, Leo, yay. Something, happiness, some kind of happiness. Something, somebody's going to bring a piece of happiness your way through a conversation. Also, I just want to say Venus is going to enter in your sun sign. We're talking about happy. <laughs> you ain't, you don't know what happy is. Until Venus enters your sun sign on the 11th. Venus, everybody likes you. Attention, magnetism, charisma. You can do no wrong. People want to meet you. They want to do nice things for you. They want to take you out. They want to buy you dinner, buy you lunch, buy you something, do something for you. That's what Venus entering into your sun sign on the 11th is going to bring your way. Great social uh, connections with friends. Oh, just hanging out with your friends, having a good time, going out, having those margaritas or whatever it is that you do and enjoy yourself. And then on the 22nd, happy birthday. The sun enters into your sun sign and your birthday season begins. Your birthday season starts off marvelously. With Venus there, Mercury there, you're going to talk, communicate, socialize, be with friends, whoever you want to be with. Attraction, attract new people, new love, or better love, or higher love, or deeper love. Something wonderful is going to be coming your way. Something wonderful is going to be coming your way. Leo, happy birthday. Happy birthday. And I have my third deck of tarot cards. And let's see what the message is for you, Leo. What is the third message for you? The third message is truth be told. What's somebody going to tell you the truth this month about something? <laughs> Get ready. Somebody going to tell you the truth about something. Or you may tell somebody the truth about something. There's going to be some truth telling going on. Some truth telling going on. And I'll tell you when it's going to happen. It's going to happen around that new moon, that new moon goes into your house of spirituality. New moon. There's going to be a new direction coming. Secrets can be revealed. Somebody going to tell you something. Or you know you might honestly be truthful with yourself for once. You may look at yourself and say, I don't need to do this or that or be with this one or that one anymore. The new moon is going to bring a new direction in your life. It's about spiritual growth. You're going to get rid of some bad habits, some toxic relationships. People are going to tell you things and you're going to listen for once. You're, not, you're going to stop disregarding what people say to you because the truth will be told. Let's see what kind of truth can come your way around the new moon. 
what truth can be told to you around that new moon, Leo? And, oh, secret, something hidden. Gosh, somebody's hiding something from you. All right, let's see what kind of secret, what kind of secret is going to be coming out around that new moon. Oh, wow. It can be stressful. It can, you know what, it can be somebody that you trust. Someone that you've told your secrets to. Someone that you feel is a friend and you find out that they're not a friend. This can be heartbreaking for you. So I just want you to listen, pay attention to what people are saying to you, and be prepared to honor it and not ignore it. Be prepared to honor it and not ignore it. I know one thing, they better be careful on your job. Because on the 15th, there can be holy war. There can be holy war on your job. Mars, the planet of war, join forces with Uranus, the planet of breakdowns. We're going to break it down. We're going to get rid of it. The breakdown, breakthrough planet, it's like fire and gasoline. They get together and they meet in your career sector. What is going on with your career? You may decide that you have totally wasted your time working for a certain place, a certain organization, or for a certain person. You are tired. Or there can be an argument with your boss that can end in possible dismissal. Or you discover that they're stealing your ideas. Just a breakdown, breakthrough. Something can change about the way you feel about your job or with the structure of your job altogether. So be very, very careful. Let's get a clarity card on what you might what need, what you might need to be careful. Uh-oh, this card fell out. Oh, the devil card. There is a devil on your job. What devilish activities are going on in your job? Now, this is also a card of greed, power. Greed and power. There is a power struggle going on at your job. Who is the power struggle with? Are you involved in the power struggle? Be careful on your job. All right, let's do another clarity card on your job. It is definitely work. You could be working harder than anybody else and you're not getting paid as much as everybody else. And guess what? You're going to find it out. And holy hell, is going to happen on that job. You're going to start looking. And a new direction, some kind of new direction can come to you regarding what happens on the job. On the job. One thing I do know is that on the 20th, Mars switches signs. And it's going to switch signs in terms of making a dream come true. So you may get a little bad news about your work situation or your career situation. You say, I need to maybe redefine, put more energy in terms of my goals and my dreams. There's going to be more energy put into making a goal or a dream come true. Because Mars is going to be there or be there. It's going to give you the motivation to achieve your goals. Put more energy into making things happen. You know, you may be in the wrong place at the work, but your heart, your mind, and your spirit can be in the right place in terms of what it is you want to happen. Let's get a clarity card for what it is that you might go after when Mars enters into your your uh, ho your sector of hopes, wishes, and dreams on the 20th. Okay, decision. Got to make a decision. Can't have everything now, Leo. You can't have everything. It's either this or that. This or that. What do you want? Put your in, you, you can be scattering your energy. Put your energy in one direction and let it go and let it flow. And I do know one thing, that once you do that, there's a possibility of something marvelous happening. In your house of hope, wishes, and dreams with a goal, achieving a goal, some kind of achievement, because Venus, the planet of attraction, joins Jupiter, the planet of good luck. Awards can happen. Something lucky can happen with a dream come true. Something can manifest for you. You can meet the right person at the right time to open the right door that's going to put your life, your career on track. Yes, upward mobility can happen once Venus and Jupiter join forces on the 21st, but it's definitely regarding a dream, a goal coming true. Yes. Okay. Now I got my fourth deck of tarot cards. And let's see what the fourth message is for you. The 
the fourth message is stardust dream dream don't be afraid to dream embrace your dreams that you know you just you can't just work and you know eat and sleep you have to be inspired put spice in your life by having a dream and a goal let's get clarity what might what dreams might be coming your way what wonderful dreams might be coming your way leo what wonderful dreams might be coming your way okay first thing is the not being trapped in a situation that you don't want to be in anymore freedom there could be a, 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 a dream, a goal about being free of some situation, a relationship, a marriage, a job situation, a financial situation, you know, get away from a, a, a family situation, freedom, to move away, to get away, to create a new life or a new situation for yourself. Go ahead and dream because it can definitely manifest for you this month. On the 21st, full moon comes hidden information well guess what is regarding guess what is regarding <laughs> your job again <laughs> what is going on with your job leo what the heck there's going to be some hidden information coming your way regarding your work situation somebody gonna tell you something you're gonna find out something that's gonna change your whole thought process or your feelings about your work situation and let's get a clarity card. let's get a clarity card on what can come your way or what information will be revealed around the full moon money you may not be making the money you're supposed to be making or that raise is not coming anytime soon and the promotion is on hold okay that could be something that changes your whole thought process and feelings about your work situation around that full moon on the 21st on the 21st and one thing though it's not gonna stop you from trying to make some better money because on the 25th, Mercury, the planet of communication and thought, enters into your house of money, your house of income. And your thoughts will be on money, increasing your money, increasing your resources, making better money, getting a better job, finding a way to make more money. It's not going to stop you in the least bit because, Leo, nothing stops you. So let's get a clarity card on what ways you're going to make some money. Oh, you might have to make a leave. You may have to change something. You may have to change jobs, change positions, change locations, get away from or re to you maybe change directions in your career. This can definitely come your way. So, Leo, if you liked my videos, could you like and subscribe? Click like and subscribe so I can bring more videos your way. And if you'd like a personal reading, contact me at KimAllen.com. That is KimAllen.com.